It's beautiful out here today. The sun is just gorgeous. A little bit muddy on the trails, but a beautiful day. A great spot. Stop for lunch. Hey guys, it's Backpack Jack. I'm out here today at the local creek, having a little bit of a lunch break, so I thought I would share the view with you. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous day. Probably, in my opinion, the best spring day we've had so far. The creek's running really well. Tomorrow's supposed to be even more beautiful. We're going up to 17 degrees. Since spring is here, I have string, spring fever, and I've made a new kit. I'm going to show you today. It's just a small little woods bumming kit. It's not made for anything more than just half hour, hour in the bush at lunchtime. I've got it in a GI butt pack. I've secured it on here with an old leather belt that I'm using as a strap. And I'll show you quickly what's inside. So this is the contents of my little woods bumming kit in my GI butt pack. Kind of splayed all over the place. I will give you the rundown really quickly. My GI butt pack secured to that. I've got my Moralite My Fire fire knife. I've got my GI poncho that I can use as rain gear or as a shelter, cover, or bottom. I've got my canteen kit, another one that you've already seen in another video. Canteen, canteen cup, canteen stove. In here I've got some aluminum foil and a mini bick to get her going. So just pretty basic. And then this is a case from golf spikes for my golf shoes but inside of it I've got some Coleman hexi cubes and some stormproof matches. Another piece of favorite kit I've talked about before, a pair of merino wool socks for just in case. Bandana, thousand and one uses. I've got a little first aid kit, feminine hygiene kit that I keep in here. Dual purpose. I've got some maxi pads some tampons, some Tylenol, some lip balm, some band-aids, and a pack of Kleenex, and there's a little Purell thing in there as well. And then as this is a lunch kit, I got my spork. This is beef ravioli out of a Canadian MRE. A couple Cliff Bars for snacks. Some beef jerky for a snack. And I don't go far without coffee. In this case, next cafe, 3 and one I prefer Starbucks via, but then you got to bring cream and sugar, and this gives me a good double-double. Works just great. And then i got two other pieces of kit here I'm going to show you. This is a little personal survival kit. It stays in the bag. It goes with the bag. It's got some just some basic supplies in it. Inside the outside pocket, there's some breast milk bags in there that are be sealable, like you use for water. And this little pocket in here, I've got a GI can opener, one of the fancy ones with the little eating thingy on there. And if I can get it out of here with one hand, I've got also a piece of fatwood. I can use if I needed to do a campfire. And then inside of here I've got some basics, just a cheapo Gerber folding knife, paraframe I think it's called. And a little kit here, it's got some safety pins, some fish hooks, fishing line, um, sewing needles and some sinkers in there as well. Paracord bracelet, there's about 10 feet of paracord on there. An emergency whistle and then tied around that is an extra hair elastic. And a girl after all. Jute twine. Jute twine, this I believe is about 10 feet. This little one's about 6 feet. Mag bar with the ferro rod on it for emergency fire starter. And a heat sheet, one person reflective blanket. And Garrity squeeze light LED. Not the greatest, but it will give me emergency lighting if I need it. And about six feet, I believe, of duct tape wrapped on a card there. And then, just since we're talking about safety and PSKs, I keep this guy in my pocket. It is uh, an Altoids tin I can make char cloth out of. I've secured it with a few feet of duct tape on there. Inside of there is uh, part of the guts, a bunch of um, AMK, SOL pieces. There's a spark light, there's a mini BIC, there's a whistle, there's some nylon thread, there's a button compass, there's a signaling mirror. Uh, I'm sure I'm missing a bunch more. There's a razor blade in there, a scalpel blade, and some water purification tabs. So this stays in my pocket when I go hiking. 
And then of course I have my EDC keychain as well, which has got some more emergency supplies on it. I always have this with me. So I got my Swiss Army knife, my whistle, another ferro rod. That's about three days worth of my prescription medications in there. Got a little LED microphoton on there, and of course keys and stuff. So that is my kit. I'm going to go enjoy some lunch. I hope you're having a great day. Thanks for watching. Take care.